Hey y'all, it's me again. Um, I've run into kind of a conundrum and I'm looking for opinions. Um, as most of you know, our last dog Rocky passed away at the end of May. We miss him very, very much. But um, in his and Autumn's honor, we decided that we were going to adopt another. We have found one that has seems to fit the bill, although it would be atypical for that particular breed. Um, here's my problem. Um, the way it used to run when we adopted Rocky and Autumn, um, and they came from Kentucky, what happened is the rescue drove down there, picked up the dogs that they so chose, and brought them up here to New England for adoption. This place, I guess, is a little different. You'll have to, excuse me, I have had no sleep. Um, Cass is right now at the vet recovering from a dental. Uh, one incisor pulled, no big deal, he'll be fine. Um, I'm going to pick him up in another hour and a half. Um, so uh, this dog, um, his name is Bo. He's a year and a half, a uh, Australian cattle dog, uh, blue healer mix which normally, I mean, if any of you know those dogs, they're extremely high energy, they're high prey drive. Um, you know, they, they usually, they want to have a job to do. But apparently, so they say, um, got to get out of the sun. Over here and sit with my Wally Stone. Um, but they say this one kind of defies uh, the breed standard, which, you know, obviously that happens. Um, every single dog is not going to meet the breed standard. He's supposed to be laid back, he's supposed to be good with. Dogs of all sizes and temperaments, both high and low energy, big and small. Um, currently is in foster with 11 cats, which, I mean, here he'd only have to deal, deal with four. Of course, Cass is like dealing with six because it's not quite all there. I mean, I love the boy to death, but... Definitely a couple cans short of a six pack. Um, so here's my problem. Nothing on this website that, by the way, I found on Pet Fighter um, indicated that um, these dogs were still down south. So that the only way that you are able to do a meet and greet is kind of, um, what, did, what did they call it? I don't know, a FaceTime or I, I don't know, whenever you're yakking on the phone with someone to a video instead of just talking to them. But whatever. Um, I don't know that I'm comfortable doing that because what all the years at the shelter have told me is people lie. They lie often. They lie frequently. And really, they don't give a shit. So, um, not being able to do the behavior assessment on the dog for me um, is very difficult. 
Um, also, of course, not being able to meet him. I mean, what if he wants to eat my husband? I don't know. I mean, uh, currently he's living in a foster home that has 50 other dogs. And, you know, they have access to the house and they have access to go out whenever they want. Um, well, this that situation is not that here. I assure you, my friends, I, <laughs> I don't have 50 foster dogs. <laughs> Oh, I don't have, no, I could, no, 50, <laughs> that would drive me batshit crazy. But, it really bothers me not being able to see the mannerisms, to be able to handle the dog, you know, almost kind of let, like what a vet exam would be, um, you know, looking in their ears, looking at their eyes, looking in their mouths, palpating their abdomen, see, you know, just picking up their feet, just like anything like a, a vet would do. Um, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Basically what they do is once the dog ha um, has an approved application, which go figure my vet references were stellar. <laughs> um, that we would drive to a place which is actually a considerable distance. Um, and we would pick the dog up and take the dog home. So that's it. You know, no get to know you period, no nothing. I really, really want another dog but I don't know if this is the right way to go about it. I saw what can happen when shelters necessarily don't tell the whole truth. Um, last year, I don't know if I had told you guys or not, my personal vet um, and two other technicians were attacked by a rescue Rottweiler that showed um, no signs of aggression and then just immediately snapped. And it sent my vet to the hospital for six hours under the knife. And the, uh, another tech also to the hospital for minor surgery. And also the, the third tech for just for stitches um, that was a rescue dog uh, once they were able to obtain all the records from the rescue it turns out that he had been returned several times for aggression issues um, this is particularly troublesome because the home also had small children in it if this had happened to a small child the small child would be dead um, my vet is extremely lucky to have gone through what she did. And fortunately, you know, obviously being a surgeon, you know, having your hand flayed open like a piece of meat um, and being on the operating table for six hours, we weren't even sure she was going to be able to do surgery anymore. But fortunately, she was. Now, I really do. I, I want a dog. I really want, I want, I really want a dog. But I don't want to start out of the gate making mistakes. And it's hard because our family is not an easy fit for dogs. I mean, let's face it, you know, there are a lot of dogs that, you know, they don't like cats. Oh, cat. Oh, it's on the menu. Um, and, you know, obviously that's not something that um, we need. And I also need a mellow dog. Um, you know, I, I don't want a husky that's pinging off the walls. Um, you know, obviously my, my mobility is limited, so short walks, you know, I, I would need a mellow dog. This dog is mellow, or so they say. Do, they t do I take them at face value? I don't know. I really don't know. Um... I've asked my husband, and he basically says he really doesn't care. Um, 
which was not very helpful. Um, but since Cass is at the vet for his dental today, uh, I got to pick him up at uh, six. Um, he's in Dover. He had his dental today. So he's got nice, nice, sharp, cleaning teethies. Um, I'm going to ask Dr. Davis what, or my, my regular vet, um, what she thinks. I have a feeling I know what her answer is going to be because I want to get a, an answer to, to the rescue, of course, as soon as possible so that, that they could, um, you know, either take me off the table as an adopter or, you know, put me in the queue. Um, because, uh, Right now, unfortunately, on the internet, everything is puppies. Puppy, puppies, 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 puppies. But of course, spring, summer, breeding season, you know. But unfortunately, I, I, I don't want a puppy. I want an adult dog. I want to know their personality. I want to know their energy level. And adults are, are hard to come by. And ones that like cats are even harder to come by. So what do you guys think? I'm interested to see what, I don't know, just what everybody else has to say. What the hell? You know? I think I made my decision, but I'm not sure yet. But I figure some more input wouldn't hurt. And you guys have given me good advice in the past. So, what have I got to lose? Right? Well, let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Let me tell you, this this big empty yard is killing me. But I don't want to get myself or my animals into a dangerous situation either where this is a rescue that's trying to just How should I say it? Pass something off is something that it's not. But anyway, let me know. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.